guys okay so today's video is going to be my top eight favorite drugstore concealers and I'm so excited for this video because I'm thinking of filming like a whole series dedicated to my top favorite drugstore products so this will be the first video obviously in the series and this is just going to be my top eight favorite drugstore concealers and then the other videos will probably be like my favorite foundations um, then powders then bronzers blushes um, highlighters eye products like eyeliners um, mascaras lipsticks all of that good stuff you guys get the whole deal um, they just be separated into a whole bunch of different videos I've seen other makeup gurus on here film videos like that and I really like that idea so you guys can kind of get to know the products that I like from the drugstores um, so yeah plus you guys all know I am a drugstore junkie so if you guys like that idea please let me know in the comments down below and I will get to filming those videos as soon as I can um, but yeah, let's just get right into this video. So these are just the products that I will repurchase over and over again. I absolutely love them and I highly recommend them to all of you guys out there. Um, and you guys can find them pretty much at any drugstore like Walmart, Target, CVS, Rite Aid, Walgreens, any places like that. And let me know what your guys' favorite drugstore concealers are in the comments down below. And if you guys have any recommendations on any drugstore or high-end concealers, let me know in the comments down below as well because lately I've been like concealer obsessed. Like I'm a concealer junkie right now now so let's just jump right into this video I'm just gonna stop rambling because I don't want this video to be too long so they're not gonna be in any particular order just going to pick them up randomly so the first one is from Maybelline and it is the Maybelline dream Lumi concealer and it's just pretty much your simple drugstore um, packaging um, yeah and this is in the shade ivory so it is like a twist cap. It has its own built-in like brush, which I really do like. When the concealers do come with like the built-in brush, I don't use the brush to like blend out the concealer at all. All I really do is just use it to apply like the V-shape underneath my eyes. I lightly dab it with my fingers, and then I uh, blend it out with a brush just to um, make sure I get rid of um, you know the harsh lines and all of that. Um, I feel like if I do use the brush to blend it out, I feel like it's not really going anywhere since there is a whole bunch of product on the brush. And with the brush applicator, it gets super messy, like all of the concealers in the lid, it's all over here. And um, it's kind of disgusting, especially when I want to try and show you guys the product since, you know, I'm, sh you know, we'll do reviews and get ready videos and you guys will see the product. And I don't really want you guys to look that look at that, so that's kind of disgusting. So that's the one bad side about having, like, the brush built in because product just gets everywhere and it just looks disgusting. And then also another thing is the lettering is, like, fading away already and I I haven't even had it for that long it's been like maybe two months so I really hope that they kind of work on the packaging and at least have the writing last a lot longer because soon I'm not even gonna know I may not even remember what this is but to the product I really like this a lot it's a really good concealer um, it's easy to blend and it just feels really nice and creamy underneath your eyes um, it's really good to uh, make your eyes appear more like awake and brighten them up a little bit and this one is just in ivory and I feel that it does it's really good like as a highlighting concealer um, I know they do have the one in like radiant like a illuminating one I haven't tried that one yet but this I feel works just as fine it's great just to highlight in like I said um, brighten up your under eye area it's really good it doesn't crease it's super creamy and I absolutely love this concealer a lot it's really good if you want to achieve a nice dewy glowy look um, and it's super lightweight it's not too heavy or anything at all so this is the Maybelline Dream Lumi concealer the next one, I'll just stay with Maybelline, um, is the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind Dark Circle. Um, the packaging is, again, very simple, and this has, like, a sponge tip um, applicator built in. And um, you just pretty much twist it again. And this is in the shade, um, the brightener, this is the illuminator one. So I don't know if you guys can tell, but it's, like, a peachy tone. And then I also have the one in uh, Fair, which I'm all out. And this, you guys can't even see the product, but this is more of like a light skin tone color. So I've tried both of these. I absolutely love the Maybelline Instant Age Ryan for your dark circles. Um, this is like one of my, well, of course, my favorite concealer because it's in this video. Hello, Ashley. But it's super creamy. It's highly, highly pigmented for a drugstore concealer. I believe it's like seven to eight bucks. Um, it's so easy to blend. Um, when I use this, I just, you know, use a sponge tip. I apply it underneath my eye in the V shape. 
blend it out with my fingers, then go with the brush. And it's so, so nice. Especially with the brightener, it does brighten up your under eye area because it's like a peachy tone color. It's really nice. And then if, um, what I like about this is that it's super pigmented. So if I don't want to wear like a foundation, all I really have to do is, you know, apply my uh, moisturizer, my primer, get with this concealer, not the brightener one, just like, you know, the regular skin tone. And then I'll just apply it underneath my eyes, around my nose, blemishes, blend it out with a brush, and I'm good to go. Like, my skin looks like I'm wearing foundation. It looks absolutely flawless. Set it with a powder. That's what I like about this, because it's kind of like you can use it, like, all over your face if you like. It doesn't break me out. It's so, so creamy. I love the texture of it. I love the way it feels. It's super lightweight, and it's just a really pigmented concealer for me in drugstore, and I absolutely love it. If you have really bad dark circles, really recommend you guys to try this out because it's inexpensive and it hides them so well. And the brightener one is um, amazing as well because it just really does brighten up your under eye area and I love it. But it is kind of like a peachy undertone um, just to let you guys know. But love this. That's the Maybelline Into Age Ryan for Dark Circles. Now moving on to, I'll go with NYX first. So this is the NYX HD Photogenic Concealer and it just looks like this. And it has like the brush applicator, the dome one the dome shaped applicator and this is super light it's in the shade porcelain and I feel like this is even light for me um, but it's really good if you do want to have like that Kim Kardashian under eye like you know it's lighter than the rest of your skin this is really good for that um, this I love because it's good for your under eye area and for your blemishes because a lot of these concealers I'm showing you guys like the ones um, well the first one the dream Lumi, I would only use this for underneath my eyes because I don't feel like it would be it wouldn't really be useful to use um, for my blemishes because it's kind of like an illuminator concealer and I feel like it would just you know draw a lot of attention to my blemishes um, this one I use for blemishes and my under eye area it's really easy to blend um, it's super super creamy and it hides my blemishes you know acne acne scarring well I don't have acne or acne scarring but if you guys do it will hide them perfectly but my blemishes and like redness it hides them really nicely which I love it doesn't like cake up or you know look too well cakey or drying or anything like that it's really moisturizing and um, I like to when I use this I do like to mix it with another one I'll use this as a base and then apply like another one on top just so it's easy more easier to blend but this does work really really well I absolutely love it. it's like four or five bucks really inexpensive and it's great for um, pretty much an all-purpose concealer so I love that and what I really like about this is that it also comes in a yellow one a purple and a green so that's really nice and I really want to try those ones as well so this is the NYX HD. Now, moving on to the Revlon Photo Ready uh, Concealer. This is the stick one. And I only have, like, a little bit left. Like, that's how much I have left of the concealer. And this is I felt like it was going to be like super drying and it's not like it's so so creamy guys like I use this for underneath my eye right and my blemishes and if I have like you know my skin's naturally like dry like it's combination skin but it's more dry and if I use it for my blemishes it doesn't make them look dry or like cracked you know in the area like it's not noticeable it's like super natural which I really like it's really easy to blend like it's super creamy but it kind of dries like a powder um but it doesn't look cakey or anything at all if that like makes any sense but it's super nice like it feels really nice in your skin natural it's great for like all skin um, like skin types and like all ages and it's just so easy to blend it feels really nice like a really natural kind of concealer and it's great for your dark circles like this one was my favorite for dark circles until I found the Maybelline one but this one is absolutely amazing it's definitely worth the money because I think it's like maybe eight to ten dollars it's definitely worth it because it lasts a really long time and it's just amazing for your blemishes acne acne scarring redness especially and your um under eye area it's just amazing and i love that it doesn't like settle in your lines or anything it's just a flawless concealer um, now moving on to Rimmel London's Match Perfection. This is like in a little tube. And this comes also with a brush applicator. And there it is. It's a mess again. Sorry, guys. Um, this you kind of have to like squeeze, which um, I feel is a little, I don't know. It's just sometimes I feel like some product comes out. Some pro Sometimes um, more product comes out, which, you know, I only need a little bit. And I don't want to waste the product. But this is supposed to be like a two-in-one. It's a concealer and a highlighter. And this is in the shade 125 Fair. 
and this I believe is like four or five bucks and I really do believe that it is a two-in-one like it's great for concealing your under eye area um, again I just use this for underneath my eyes and it conceals and then also it highlights so it you know brightens up your under eye area which I love and it's so easy to blend it's not drying doesn't cake up or anything it's super creamy and I really like this a lot it's a really nice concealer um, that is the Rimmel London Match Perfection. Uh, the packaging, I feel like they should maybe do a twist top or something because you have to kind of like squeeze it and I feel like I waste some product at times. But that is that. Um, the next one is the CoverGirl and Olay Simply Ages Eye Corrector. And this is just the eye corrector so it just corrects underneath my eyes. I use this mainly for um, my dark circles. It's great for that. I use it as a base because it's like a yellow tone. Um, so I use it as a base. I lightly, you know just dab it with my fingers blend it out and then I'll apply whatever concealer I'm using that day on top of it it works really well for a base um, and I love it because it has the Olay moisturizer in it that's I don't think you guys can tell but it has like white swirls in it and um, it just has the Olay moisturizer so it moisturizes your under eye area and for me um, sometimes my under eye area is like super drying so this moisturizes it and it hydrates it, which I really, really like. It's super creamy, so easy to blend. It doesn't, you know, settle into the um, harsh lines or anything like that. It's not cakey. Um, do you recommend that to set this, especially with, like, a powder? Pretty much all of these concealers set just to make it, you know, long-lasting. But this I absolutely love. It's so creamy. This is definitely going to be a product that will be purchased over and over again, of course. Um, it is kind of pricey. I think I saw, like, at Target it was $15, but I don't know if that was, like, a mistake. Like, they put the wrong price there because I don't think I got it for 15 I think I got it for like 9 or 10 or something um, and I know at uh, Walmart it's like $10 it's kind of pricey but it's definitely worth it I really like it a lot um, then the next one is the uh, Sony Cash Kit and Agenda kit so this I really like because it comes with three concealers and then it comes with a powder um, you don't have to use a powder if you want I really like it just to set my under eye area and as you guys can tell I have hit pan on three of them well two of the uh, concealers and then one of the powders um, this is the lightest one. I think they have like a darker one. Um, I feel like they should have put like a lighter one because I don't really use that. It's too dark for me. And the lighter one right here is great for underneath your eyes or your blemishes. And then the green one over, this one is like a green tone, like your green base. So it's good for like your blemishes and especially your redness. It, settle, it tones the redness down a little bit, which I love. They're really creamy. It gives it more of a natural look. Um, when I, If I use this underneath my eyes, it's more of kind of like a base, and then I'll just apply a more heavy kind of concealer on top of it. It's super lightweight, really, really creamy. It's long-lasting, and I really like this a lot. I just wish I would have like a more lighter one. And if you are like a makeup artist, this is really good just to add to your makeup kit because um, you pretty much have three concealers and then a powder as well. It's like $10, definitely worth it. You get three concealers and a powder in it, and I really like this as well. I love that it has the green one, um, the green base concealer because I have redness in my skin, and it tones it down a lot. So, love that. The last concealer is also from Sonia Kashuk. It's the Sonia Kashuk All all Covered Up Concealer. It's in the shade Porcelain. It's just in like this cute little jar. It's very classy. And this is what it looks like. And this is in the shade Porcelain. And you can just pretty much just use your fingers because it's a really tiny space. So, that's what it looks like. And I personally think that this is a lot darker than Porcelain. Um, to me, Porcelain is super like white and super light. I don't know if you guys can see that, but that is the swatch of porcelain. I feel like that's like tan or like medium or something, but I mainly use this for my blemishes. I don't use this for my under eye area. For blemishes, it's super long lasting. It's a really nice thick consistency, um, but it doesn't feel thick on your skin, which I love. Um, it feels super lightweight on your skin, but the texture and the consistency of it is like thick, but I like it because it um, just kind of sticks. Well, it doesn't like I guess stick to your blemishes like it doesn't stand out but um, it just is long lasting it covers your blemishes so nicely especially if you have redness or acne acne scarring like a whole lot of like you know problem areas this hides them so nicely like you can it just glides right over them like butter pretty much um, and it's not noticeable it's just a great concealer it's really really pigmented and it's great for your blemishes you don't ever need to touch up and this I think was like ten dollars definitely worth it it feels like you only get like a little tiny bit but a little bit does go a long way with this because it is really really pigmented 
But that is pretty much my top 8 favorite drugstore concealers. I hope you guys enjoy this video. If you guys have any requests on any videos you guys would like to see, please let me know in the comments down below. Other than that, I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye guys!